In this video, we are discussing the functions and settings of the AutoSky wireless adapters. Want an overview of these products? Watch the video next. AutoSky WUA8 wireless adapter. Start by plugging the unit into your car's CarPlay USB port. Turn on the Bluetooth on your phone and select AutoSky XXX. Allow pairing and the wireless CarPlay or Android Auto interface will appear automatically each time you start your car. In settings, you can pair more phones, only one connects at a time. To switch, turn off Bluetooth and Wi-Fi on the first phone, then pair the next. AutoSky CPHM Media and TV Adapter The media adapter turns wired CarPlay into either a wireless CarPlay or an HDMI connection. Plug it into your vehicle's CarPlay USB port, choose CarPlay or Android Auto, and pair your phone via Bluetooth. Once connected, your interface loads automatically every drive. To use HDMI mode, connect a TV stick, a game console, or a screen mirroring device to the HDMI port and power it on. Tap HDMI on the main screen. Your car screen now mirrors the external device, controlled by its own remote. AutoSky USB Box Lite and the Lite Plus 2.0. These models add full apps, streaming, and personalization. Both share the same interface, the Plus 2.0 just runs faster, has modern look, and uses a dual Wi-Fi models for smoother switching. After connecting the box to your car's USB, open Bluetooth and pair with AutoSky XXX. Tap CarPlay or Android Auto to complete the setup. On the home screen, you'll find YouTube and Netflix. To stream, disconnect Bluetooth first, then open Settings, Wi-Fi, choose your hotspot, and enter the password. Return to home screen, open YouTube or Netflix and log in. In settings, you can connect Wi-Fi or hotspot, personalize startup, so resume last app or pick one to auto launch, view storage and installed apps, change display mode like dark light and its font size, set a custom wallpaper. In engineering mode, you can copy or delete logs to external storage report an issue, set up a delayed startup time, or adjust display smoothness, screen density, and audio stream mode. Under System, you will find language, date, and time, system update or reset. In About, you can check software version, CarPlay protocol, Bluetooth version, and serial number. From the main menu, you can check for app updates, uh, but the Wi-Fi is required, call through the radio via Bluetooth, and import contacts play music and open media files, and launch Apple CarPlay or Android Auto. Note, the original USB box light uses a single Wi-Fi model, so you must disconnect Bluetooth when switching between CarPlay and streaming. The Plus 2.0 solved this with a dual Wi-Fi, making transition faster and more stable. Subscribe for more car audio insights, and don't forget to like this video.